Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and Reviews Now 2, and on today's video, we look at some very cool software which is completely free of charge. You don't have to pay a penny for it, it's a very small download, and it seems to work like an absolute dream. So, I figured I'll make a video on it. So, if you have any needs for either cloning your drives or just doing backups, cloning partitions, just general file maintenance on your PC when you've got a new drive installed, that kind of thing, this is going to be really, really helpful. So, let's go straight over to the computer and I'll show you what it's all about. So the software is called Hasleo Software and their backup suite, free, version 4.8 at the time of recording. This is a really cool piece of software. I'm amazed how good it is and the fact that they're giving it away for free. You'd think there'd be a catch, but there doesn't appear to be one. So you can go to the website. Uh, links will be in the video description for you if you want to download it and for Brian. So check these out, click on the download small download about 30 megabytes it's absolutely tiny it will expand a little bit when it's done and it can do all these different kinds of things like backup and store clone windows clone disks clone partitions and files and folders um yeah loads of things you can do there so if you just want to use it as a backup suite you can do if you want to use it for cloning you can do the choice is absolutely yours now in this instance i've actually made the mistake of installing windows on the pc we're using here and I'll put it on the wrong drive. I'll put it on a two terabyte drive, but this is a PC which I'm going to be selling or doing something else with, so it only needs a smaller drive. So this is a perfect opportunity to test the software out. So let's close down this window and we'll take a look at disk management to start with. And you can see there is a, a smaller drive which I've just installed. It's actually trying to initialize it, but we don't need to do that, so we'll just ignore that. So there's our main drive, the C drive, and it's on a two terabyte drive. So this will actually automatically shrink partitions. Obviously, if the data is bigger than the drive you're putting in, that isn't gonna work. So as long as the data is actually smaller than the size of the drive you're installing, you're good to go. So this is the Haslio backup suite. I'm just gonna double click on that one. We can close this now, we don't need that. And first of all, it's gonna come up with a warning saying you haven't set a default storage folder for backup image files, do you want to set it up now? Now, of course, if you want to do backups, then this is the time to do it, but you don't have to. If you want to, you can choose, don't remind me again. I'm going to choose no. You can, of course, choose yes and set a location. So the options we have here. So first of all, we've got a new backup. So you can create your first backup. You've got browse image to restore. So you can restore a image to a disk. So usual kind of backup setup there. This tab here, this is our backup window. So we've got the choice for a system backup, a disk backup or partition backup. So that is the whole disk or if you've got a partition on a disk on a backup or you can do individual file backups. So that's again, pretty cool if you want to use this as a backup suite. Also, you've got the restore section. So this is kind of the inverse of the previous one. So you've got a task which you can create or you can browse an image to restore from. So yeah, pretty straightforward stuff. The next one is gonna be the cloning section. So this is the one that we're actually interested in today. So we've got the option for a system clone. So that's gonna clone your entire system. You've got a disk clone, so that will do an entire disk, or you can do individual partitions. So say for instance, you've got a games partition on a D drive or E drive or something along those lines, and you wanna partition clone that to another larger drive or swap it out, you can use that to do that. But the one we're gonna be using in this instance is gonna be disk clone. While we're here, I'll just show you the extra tools which are included. So you can create an emergency disk, you can add to the boot menu, you can also import and export other tasks which you've created previously, mount or unmount images, merge images, check an image, wipe a drive, rebuild the master boot record on a selected disk, repair VSS, you can view the system logs, and also they've got some free tools at the bottom. So you can create a portable Windows installation on a USB drive, and also they've got their free data recovery software, which we'll do a dedicated video on coming soon. So let's go back into the cloning section and we want to do a disk clone because I just want to clone one disk to another. And it's going to ask for the disk that we wish to clone, which is going to be this one here. And of course, if you're doing partitions, you could choose individual partitions, but for disk cloning, you want to select all of that. So that will include the actual kind of recovery parts, the main C drive, and also the other Windows parts. So that's the one we want to clone. So we'll click on Next and select the location you want to clone to. So we're gonna choose this one, Disk 1, unknown, because it's unallocated, and that is it. There are other options. You can choose to clone as MBR. So if you want to 
remove the GPT formatting, you can use MBR, master boot record. You can also choose to do a sector by sector clone. That takes absolutely forever and will copy blank space as well, which is kind of pointless. And also you can keep the partition layout if you wish to. The choice is entirely up to you. So in terms of resizing, etc. If you go into advanced mode, you can just choose there, make windows bootable. So we will do that. Select our drive again and click next. So now it's going to give us a rundown of what's actually going to be going on. And at this point, you can actually change sizes, locations, and all that kind of stuff. So for our main disk, that's what it's going to be. And you can basically resize stuff if you want to. So moving that slider, you can change partition sizes, etc. You can also change your disk alignment. It's going to leave that as standard. And also you get an option again to do sector by sector clone partition. But we're happy with this. Pretty simple, just gonna let it do its thing and we will click on proceed. So now it's gonna give you a, an approximate estimation of the time remaining, depending on the size of your data, the quality of your disks, and also the ports that the disks are actually attached to. This may take a little bit longer or may take a little bit less than what I'm gonna be doing. So obviously bear that in mind, but this seems to be absolutely flying through it, so. We'll uh, let it do its thing and we'll come back when it's finished. And there we go. <laughs> that took 46 seconds. Uh, I know this is a pretty quick system, but still, that is uh, pretty insane. So just click on finish. And that is it, we are done. So if we open up Windows now, we see there's our main local disk C. We've now got a local disk D, which is a direct copy. So obviously that has allocated it a drive letter D. If you reboot the system with drive C connected, it's yeah, it's not gonna be good. So obviously now you wanna take out one of your drives, leaving the one that you wish to use, and you're pretty much good to go. So I'm gonna close the system down now, move the drive from the location it's into the primary disk slot. We'll reboot just to make sure this has worked as it should do. Okay, so moment of truth, I've just swapped the drive out. There's my uh, crucial P3 two terabyte, which I've just taken out of the machine. So uh, yeah, let's press the power button and see if this actually boots up. I'm kind of guessing it won't. I can't believe that it's transferred the data that fast. It was a fresh installation of Windows and it probably only had about, I don't know, 30 gigs of information on there. Lian Lee software and Windows. So that was about it, so. Let's let it go through the boot sequence and uh, see if we actually get into Windows. I'll be very surprised if we do. I can see the motherboard LEDs cycling at the top there. And now we're going to boot. So if it goes straight into the BIOS, we know it hasn't done it. Oh my God, it's actually loading Windows. That's incredible. That was so fast and for such a lightweight. And there we go. There is our Windows 11 installation, fully up and running and cloned in an absolutely ridiculous amount of time. So I am extremely impressed and possibly you will be too. I'll leave links for the software in the video description. I should say, full disclosure, this is not affiliated, sponsored or anything. Uh, I just found the software after doing some searches and thought I'd give it a go and uh, you've come along for the ride. And this thing is spectacular, it really is. Highly recommended. So anyway, if this video has been useful to you, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews now too. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.